Another day, another person with Trump derangement syndrome. Here you see Representative Katie Hill bashing Trump. She retweeted this article that says, Trump's tweets prove that he's a raging racist. But wouldn't you know, this woman, Representative Katie Hill, has been completely exposed for being a degenerate. Well, I'll let you decide for yourself. Exclusive, shocking photos of Congressman Katie Hill are revealed as she's seen naked, showing off Nazi-era tattoo while smoking a bong, kissing her female staffer, and posing nude on wife-sharing sites. Booyah! But before we look into this, a word from our sponsor. So I've got two sponsors right now. One is Virtue Signal, the game of social justice. It's a card game. You can find a referral link down in the description. The object of the game is to assemble a coalition of NPC followers. It's pretty funny. The game itself looks cool and it's got some layers and replayability. So be sure to check out their page. Maybe give them a pledge. There's also unsilencedvoice.com. It's a social media website that promotes freedom of speech. Of course, you can't post anything illegal like making threats or, you know, anything of that nature. But you will never get banned for having the wrong opinion here. And these days, that's very rare. Unsoundsvoice.com So, this woman is bashing Trump. I'm assuming she's a Democrat. Maybe that's not a fair assessment. But shit's about to hit the fan. See, she made this post in July 15. This is a brand new article completely exposing her. So things are not good for her. <laughs> We're going to look at that. Trust me, people are livid. Here we go. Now, I don't want to show the photos in this video because it could cause some problems. Honestly, I should because it's not like I'm getting ad revenue. It's not like I'm getting shit from this. It's not like I'm getting anything from this, but... I suppose it's better to cite on caution. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this if you want to see the videos. And trust me, they're kind of gross. Not really worth looking at, if you ask me. But if you're curious, it's there. Shocking photographs of Democrat Katie Hill posing naked with a tattoo of what appears to be a Nazi-era Iron Cross. Now, keep in mind, the Iron Cross was used in many other contexts. It's not necessarily Nazism, but... You know, who knows? On her bikini line while smoking a bong and making out with her young female aide have been obtained exclusively by DailyMail.com. The congresswoman, 32, was also pictured naked brushing the young woman's hair, who, Daily who DailyMail.com can identify as Morgan Disjardins, 24, from Santa Clarita, California. Disjardins began a relationship with Hill and Heslip shortly after she started working for the Hill in 2017, before the three-way affair broke down this summer when Hill told both her husband and her lover that she wanted to focus on her work. So yeah, okay, so we've got a couple things here, because it gets worse. It gets a lot worse. First, Katie Hill's married, she has a husband. Second, she's having three ways with her female aide, someone who works for her which is already a breach of ethics on its own. So she was caught posing naked with a bong on 9-11. And these photos, they were found on Would You F My Wife and Wife Sharing websites and threads. I'm telling you folks, it gets worse. So here's a picture of her kissing a female staffer. This is a breach of ethics. This is forbidden in more ways than one. I mean, she was even caught naked brushing the aide's hair. And this is a picture of all three of them. Degenerates, the lot of them. So one of the most scandalous photographs shows a naked hill holding a giant bong filled with a murky brown liquid. Metadata from the picture reveals it was taken on 9-11. No shame. In 2017, before marijuana was legalized for recreational consumption in California. <laughs> see, as you can see, the list just gets bigger. Cuckery, wife sharing, screwing your aides, smoking the bong before it was legal. On 9-11 of all days, instead of remembering, she chose to forget. For that alone, she should resign. And there's also the Iron Cross picture that was on her. It's a tattoo on her freaking thigh. And this is a girl who said, I'm deeply disturbed by the racism in America. I'm deeply disturbed by President Donald Trump. Well, now the shoe's on the other foot, isn't it? Now, it's probably just like an Iron Cross, like... German. It's not necessarily a bad symbol. It's so stupid. But that's not even the point here. Even without the whole Iron Cross thing, 
I don't see how you can come back from this. This girl's utterly shamed. Look at the photos, trust me. This girl can never be a politician again. She can't live this down. Like, it's impossible to come back from. She was cheating on her husband, they had an open marriage, and that's gross. But a sources close to Hill and online post reveal that this was not the first time she and her husband opened their marriage. A former tenant of the estranged couple said Hill and Heslop had a sexual relationship with a 21-year-old woman in 2010, the same year they were married. Ugh. Everyone's gonna know that you're a cucker, that you're a slut, that you sleep around with your aides. I mean, there's multiple things here. You broke the law, you broke ethics, you probably broke the law by sleeping with your aide. The list goes on and on. You've got naked photos of you floating around on degenerate websites. Sure, my wife. The cuck website. God, ugh. NTR's unforgivable. So they're currently divorcing. Her photos are on those websites. So it gets even worse because Desjardins, or whatever her name is, I don't care how it's pronounced, has been by her side for a long time, even in a Vice documentary. Photos taken over the next few years that the DailyMail.com has chosen not to publish include pictures of two women showering together and kissing in a steamy bathroom. So, um, yeah, it was, they had so many photos, they didn't even want to publish all of them. What a degenerate. Look, it's horish behavior. I don't care who you are. This is a degenerate. This is sick, a sick person. I'm going through a divorce from an abusive husband who seems determined to try and humiliate me. I am disgusted that my opponents would seek to exploit such a private matter for political gain. The congresswoman wrote, distributing. Intimate photos with the intent to publish them is a crime. Oh, dude, you literally are caught on photo committing a crime. This delusional skank thinks she can come back from this? She thinks she can come back from this? Who the fuck do you think you are? It's over. Capiche? Finale. A level of conscious says, wow, yep, time to resign. My three cents says, these are our politicians? Yeah, those are exactly your politicians. The average politician is probably worse. Maybe I should get into politics. CB says, another filthy dem. She's gross. I agree, buddy. I agree. So here on Twitter, everyone is saying, you can't just brush these allegations off. Resign, 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 resign. You can't come back from this. You can't. Dude, you've been completely exposed. Even Jason here says, at the very least, and this is bare minimum of what we've seen, a relationship with staffers is against house rules. I can care less who you sleep with, but if you lied by denying it, your term in Congress should be over. The 25th is embarrassed and we should be. Yeah, so she broke, she broke rules? She has naked pictures of her everywhere? Smoking bongs on 9-11? Before it was legal? She's got an iron cross tattoo? She was cucking her husband? Her husband is posting her on share wife threads? They obviously had open relationships. Absolute degenerate. Just drop out. These are our politicians. And you gotta wonder why the country is so messed up. But you know what, my friends? That's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. I don't, I don't even have the words. I really don't. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. Look at, look at this guy. This will sum up my sentiments. Okay, no says. Wow. What did I just read? I mean, that's pretty much the story, folks. Let me know what you think. Now, as always, my entire channel is unmonetized. YouTube took all revenue from me. All of it. I get nothing. They're trying to drown me out. They're trying to silence me. It's really unfortunate. It really sucks. It just, it hurts. I'm not gonna lie, it hurts. If you wanna support me, check out the links in the description. There's Patreon, there's Subscribestar, there's PayPal, there's Bitcoin. It's up to you. Sharing the video also helps. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious. And I'll see you all next time.